Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. I haven't filmed yet since I hit 10,000 subscribers. So I just want to tell you all, thank you so much, so much. Um, that was, that happened on a really hard day for me and I was so excited about it. Um, you know, if you've been here a while, you know I've been working at that goal for a long time. Um, I've had my channel a long time. And I don't know why that just sent, s seemed to be monumental for me. I don't know. Again, I'm not here for the numbers or anything like that. I just, it just felt big to me and I was really excited about it. So for all of 10,000 of you that are here, thank you. I, it truly means so much to me that you take time out of your your lives because I know we all live crazy lives to watch my little old self on the internet decorating my house so thank you for that but with all of that said we are gonna get on to decorating um, more for spring we're gonna decorate my little um, kitchen table area with my little bookshelves and then my entryway and I hope you'll join me so if you're new and you'd love to, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. It sure helps me out. And with all of that, let's decorate. It is the most beautiful spring day. I have my back patio door open. So if you hear some birds chirping, I'm sorry, but I just, I'm, I can't help myself. Anyway, we're gonna start here in the entryway. I have talked about this space so many times. Um, I'll link everything I can, but I, w I always address this in this video because I, it never fails. People want to call me out for this mirror. And let me just remind you that I live in an old home and we don't have high ceilings. So um, this looks the best. I promise that this looks the best. Um, I'm not even sure what you can see in the, the reflection of my mirror, but just know this looks the best. It is attached to the wall. It has fallen off. This is the second one I've purchased and broke, but now we're, we're better because it's attached to the wall and we're good. We're good now. And it's actually bigger than the one that I started out with. So anyway, we're starting here. This, um, these books and this pot have been here, um, since, you know, for a few months now, and I still love them and I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to add to what we got going on over here. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to add these most beautiful hydrangeas ever. I shared these um, in a haul video recently. They're from Amazon. I will link them. Now, you have to buy the ones that I link <laughs> because those are the only ones I can guarantee are going to look like this because last year I purchased several sets of these thinking that this is what I was getting and it was not what I got. And so I had to send those back. So they come in a three pack. I have six here, so I just have two. And I am just gonna add these to this um, Amazon green. I'll link this as well, because this is very, very good as well. But this looks like a, I mean, even the stem looks real. Everything about this feel, look, doesn't smell real, but, um, I mean, if you did not know they were fake, you would think they were real. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all six of these to this pot. Um, and, and no rhyme or reason. I mean, I'll probably, uh, fluff it once we get them all in here, but. I started out like with just the three and then I thought, nope, we got to have more. We've got to have more. I love hydrangeas. I planted so many hydrangeas out in my garden the last couple of years. And so to have them inside just is everything. And I kind of love the whimsy of the greenery. I think it just is so pretty. And these make that look so big and full. I love that. Next to there on these little books, I just have a little cute bunny with gold ears. Um, this one probably came from Target years ago. And I'm gonna put him right next to the, to that. I love these books. And if you're looking for an affordable um, 
coffee table book, these are it. And they're the perfect shades of colors. Okay, next up, we're gonna add this little stack of boxes here. Um, I used these last year on this um, table and I just love the way they look. So we'll leave that there. And last but not least is the sun will come up because this is all what we're praying for, right? Perfect for spring. And I'm just gonna layer that with my mirror, like that. I wanted to talk about this little gauzy blanket. It's so cute. I love the color. I love, it just brings, or screams spring and summer. So I'll probably leave it here both um, spring and summer. And I just like to put it over this little ottoman. like that. I've had this blanket ladder here um, and I had my green throw on here but I showed this in a recent haul. I got it at uh, Home Goods, and it is perfect for spring and summer as well and so I'm just going to drape that over the blanket ladder. I don't recommend this blanket ladder so I won't link it so I bought it, um, and it is so cheaply made that not like it won't even like it's not even even. But I bought it when we were redoing our house, and so by the time we ended up putting it together, I couldn't return it. So I'm using it for now, um, and then I have these baskets here, which. I do love, and I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I'll link them. Okay, on my kitchen table, you've seen this before. I love it so much. I'm so excited to finally use it. Um, and it's just, it's just so beautiful. It's the perfect blue and yellow. I don't know, like it's not bright. The, the, the yellow is quite muted. And I love the like contrast with my table and the table runner. It's just cute. I kind of actually love how it kind of ruffles up on the ends. Anyway, you know my love for this table runner. It was a find from Home Goods. We're gonna keep it simple, and I just have this little tulip arrangement. Now, these tulips I just got in the mail, and let me see. Let me. I'll give you a close up in just a second, but these are the realest faux tulips I've ever seen. My kids thought these were real. They were like, mom, why did you put those in a package? They're gonna die. And I was like, actually they're not. I mean, they look so real. Let me just pull one out, I'll just show it to you. Like, even if you were to put these in a, like a clear a glass container, like these look real. Um, the stems look real. I, they're just so beautiful. And I don't remember how many, I think you get three of these sets and there's one, five to a set and you get three for the price of however it is. <clears throat> but I want to show you a comparison to um, the tulips that everybody's sharing on um, YouTube and Instagram right now to these ones. Let me get closer here. Okay. Let me show you up close. So these are what these look like. I mean, the bottoms even look real, like with the gradient. Um, the foliage looks really realistic. These are just so realistic. This one's like not quite open yet. This one's a little bit closed, and then you get the other ones. Now these are the ones that everybody's showing online when you get you. So you get like a whole bunch of them for, I don't know, pretty inexpensive. However, I've had these forever. They were bright white and now they are not. They are like a yellow cream color, but look at the foliage on them. See those? And then look at these. So take your pick. I'll link both um, if you want. These ones I put on my um, coffee table, but I kind of want to go back and buy some white ones of these. I just loved the pink and I really loved the pink with that blue. That is so sweet to me. So, highly recommend these tulips. And they also like bend really well. Like you can manipulate them a little bit. I 
always like to change this little spot out for the seasons and I have this Peter Rabbit towel. I've had this for a million years, probably a billion. I'm not even kidding you. So long and I just like to hang it from there. It's just cute. I love the color. It's green. And then I have um, one of these little hanging metal baskets that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I have some faux ranunculus, which are my favorite flower. These and a peony are my favorite. Um, and just a little sprig in there like that. And I'm just going to hang it around. Okay, so I am going to start with this top shelf. And I just have a stack of books over there and then this bag that I always keep there. And in the bag, I keep my dish towels that I like to use for decor purposes for holidays. And so I pulled this one out of there, perfect for spring. And I'm just gonna add it to the edge of the bag here, just to like give a little bit of texture to it. Oh, maybe I don't, maybe I'll do it over here. I don't know, just something cute like that. And then I have this um, cake, the uh, cloche filled with these really cool eggs that I got this year from a mini uh, little boutique where I live. I just think that they look so realistic and beautiful. And so I'm just gonna put those right there. I have one more of these moss wreaths and I love these. And I'm just going to, let's see, just kind of prop it up against the back of there and then add these cute little bunnies in front of it. Okay, let's do the bottom shelf here. Um, I have to keep everything that down the bottom shelf that, that my dog cannot chew up. So I'm gonna start with this cute little, I got this from Walmart, I shared in a haul. And then these um, beautiful peony flowers I got off Amazon. I'm gonna start that in the corner. This is gonna be very simple. And then on the other corner, I have another one of these little, um, I don't know what they're called, bunnies from Target. I'm putting him over there. And then in the middle, I have this bowl of eggs. So I have wooden eggs and I have some speckled eggs. And then I have these little um, felt, or excuse me, velvet carrots. They're so cute. Those are from um, Hobby Lobby. And I think it's so cute in this bowl. And I'm just going to put it right there. And that way, my dog cannot ruin anything on the bottom shelf. guys I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and come back next week because we're gonna have a cute spring DIY 
And I wanna remind you, maybe you're feeling the same kind of pressure I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, well, after Easter's coming up so quick, I can't share anything spring after Easter. But there's several months of spring, where I live anyway. And so I'm gonna keep going and I'm really itching to do a spring refresh on my Porsche. Those are my favorite videos to make and my favorite videos to watch. And so I'm really itching to do that. I wanna get the um, cedar stuff cleaned out of my pots and maybe like freshen it up with some tulips or some pansies or some violas or something cute. Um, I'm, really itching, I'm really itching to do that. I wanted to do that today actually, but we're going out of town and I didn't have time. So I decided I'd film this video and pack. So I hope you guys are well and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.